what am I doing here that's making my face go up in smoke? Stay tuned to find out. Last week I was in Costa Rica and I got my face fibroblasted off. <laughs> and I'd like to say it was painful, it actually was not. Isabel Brown is very talented and they do things a little bit different in Costa Rica, so she was able to help me with the pain quite a bit. Um, her avatar method can be done with any machine and she did basically a facelift for me. So when you go alongside, you'll get a little bit of a lift. And so you may have seen she did, you can still see where it's red, but we did the entire bottom of the neck because I'm always trying to get this to lift. We did a uh, side here, all the way across the forehead and in front of the ear. And she did my earlobes really well. Um, and they're actually shrinking up. They don't, they don't stand out like they used to. And I noticed sort of a, an overall lift to my face. And the hard part about this is I try to pull before and afters and because fibroblast doesn't really change the shape of your face, you can see incremental changes in the girth, <laughs> right? So like at the neck and I had so much more neck. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the kind of neck that comes up like this with fibroblasts. It's just not in my anatomy. And you know, fibroblast is not surgery, so it cannot go in there and you know create the perfect jawline if you don't have that in your anatomy. I mean, in my 30s, I think this is the best my neck ever looked. I never had a strong jawline. So that being said, these are the preliminary results. The end results will come in 12 weeks. At that 10 week mark, that's where, well, eight to 12 weeks, about 10 weeks is a sweet spot where that collagen type one starts to replace all the other sort of like triage collagen that, that heals everything up quickly. That all starts to get slowly replaced with the strongest form of collagen at eight to 10 weeks with 10 weeks being, usually people will see a bump around then. And we're talking about people um, 40s up. Now, if you're younger and you're doing fibroblast, you will probably see it faster. Although with my younger clients, I tend to like to go easier and do um, maybe just radio frequency, if that to them, because younger skins, you don't really want to blast with a lot of heat because I'm seeing a lot of heat shock protein um, and glycated skin on my 20 year old clients. And I'm like, what is going on? And this is because of all the laser facials that are so in fashion right now. If you have a laser spa next to you, you know, if you're under 50, I really don't recommend doing laser facials on a monthly basis. It's too much for younger skin and they tend to prematurely glycate. And glycated skin, I've done videos on this, glycated skin is just dense, thick, slow moving top layer of skin that is sometimes cobblestone, sometimes not. And what causes it is smoking, the, all the obvious things, uh, smoking, a sun exposure, general aging. So you see it a lot in people in the 70s and above, 60s, 70s and above. But it can also be caused by excessive heat. And that's why I'm really not liking these laser facials that um, some of my gals in, my tw in their 20s are doing. I've instructed them to go off of them because I think it's doing a lot of premature damage just from the heat. So anyway, I'm gonna scrounge up some before and afters. Um, I don't know if you all can tell since you see me basically every week, um, if this is any smaller. A lot of my esthetician uh, viewers can see this, but usually lay people are like, I don't see anything, or, or people get super pissed at me because I don't have like these perfect before and afters, when really it's these incremental changes that happen with each time that you do it. And I have a client and I'm going to block out her eyes and show her here, but she had really large buckle fat pads, which are basically just these fat pads here or the jowls, and they shrank up considerably because I just, I just went after those. And so I super saturated this area 
with dots and spray and the avatar method. And then I did a lot of pull through the front of the ears. And so this is what I really love about avatar and I love about fiberglass is you can be very creative with it and go for more of a pull by just doing a denser concentration of dots working this area more deeply. So um, Isabel basically did a one-two punch where she she worked both of these areas and then underneath here to relieve some of the weight that was from you know pulling on this area and then pulled this back. So I have noticed sort of an overall um, just lift because anytime you do that to a face it makes it look better. And I'll see you next time.